What's up, Divine Feminine? Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic details. Wow. Divine Feminine, it is 18 a.m. Today is September 17, 2022. Now, this is a timeless reading, so it don't matter what I just said the date is. You can get this reading next year, but it'll have the same energy for somebody. Okay, um, so this reading is about what's going to happen tomorrow. What's coming towards the Divine Feminine for tomorrow? Now, like I said, even though I said um, what the date is, happy birthday, Virgo. But if you find this, come across this movie years um, down the line, movie, this video, then it may resonate with you 10 years from now if you come across it. So we just going to see what is the energy coming to you for the day that you find this video the next time. Tomorrow. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit. So many energy coming towards the bottom for me for tomorrow. So many energy coming towards the bottom for me tomorrow. Throat chakra in reverse. <clears throat> well deserved reverse. Well deserved rebirth reward in reverse. Not moving on in reverse. So divine feminine. Overall energy. Your throat chakra. Some of you need to balance your throat chakra. Some of you need to heal your throat chakra. Some of you need to learn about your throat chakra. But what this card is saying is you need to heal your throat chakra because there's something that you're not able to speak out about. Or have you noticed that you may be a little hoarse? You may be um, just trying to think of things to say but you can't get it out you may want to tell somebody something it's because you need to um, work on your throat chakra now to work on your throat chakra you can get this is a um, stone for the throat chakra this is the turquoise you can just purchase a turquoise offline or if you want to purchase a healing protection set for me for this particular reading or whatever the message you can email me at pink scorpion intuitive at gmail.com I'm still sleepy y'all that's why I'm sounding all dead but anyway you see this this blue this blue is for your throat chakra okay it's for your third eye too okay your third eye and your throat chakra are blue one is just darker and one is lighter I have the chart somewhere um but I'm packing moving so I can't show it to you right now um you haven't spoke out about a well-deserved reward that you feel that you're supposed to receive. You're supposed to be sitting up on this pedestal. Uh, I ain't going to try to put it up close like that. You're supposed to be on this pedestal, but this came out in reverse. So by it coming out in reverse, I'm feeling like you you know you supposed to be up on that pedestal, but you ain't said nothing about it. And you can't move on from it. Okay? This is the energy of somebody not moving on. You can't move on from the situation because you haven't spoke out about it. Okay. 
you got to speak out. It's nowadays you you can't sit around and, and think somebody is gonna read your mind and I mean yeah there's people out there but no you you don't need nobody to read your mind to tell you what you need to do and it's something you need to speak out. What is this well deserved reward? What is this well deserved reward? Love? I heard love. You feel like you're not having success in a, in a, in a relationship? Spirit told me to stay with this deck. All right, Spirit. What is it that Divine Feminine needs to speak out about? Why does Divine Feminine need to balance out their throat chakra? We just listened to some affirmations. Um... Take you a spiritual bath. Maybe something has you, has your throat chakra blocked or have you afraid to speak out on a situation. Oh, and some of you, you're about to receive a reward. And you don't believe, you don't feel that this reward is for you. Who is that? And you haven't said nothing about it. Or you don't know how to speak. It's some sort of, sort of um, probably being a ceremony or something where you're going to be honored. And somebody is feeling like they don't deserve that honor. Or there's somebody out there who's not getting honored and they feel like they're supposed to be honored. But whoever the case may be, you can't move on for the situ from the situation. You're not moving on. Okay, Spirit, show me what is it that the Bible Queen used to speak out about. Somebody needs to find balance. The Wheel of Fortune out here. Yeah, some money or something that you haven't spoke out about and you feel that you deserve but you and you can't move on for it. You're not taking a lead when it comes to this situation. <clears throat> I got to see what's going on. Okay. So, okay, Spirit, give me more. So, divine feminine is, is, you know, you you need, for one, you need to find balance, but you're supposed to reap the, the reap the karma of good. But it's something you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be a leader. You're supposed, people are supposed to be listening to you and you're not saying nothing. I hear grocery store. I don't know why. Grocery store? You're supposed to be being a leader or something. And it's, it's going to bring you good money, but for some reason you're not either speaking on it or they're not speaking to you about it. Somebody feels like they're not getting what they're supposed to get. And they're not just they're just not speaking on about speaking out about something and you're not moving on. So basically you're just sitting there. Holding in this shit. Fuck that. Give me more spirit.
What is this well-deserved reward? So somebody, somebody out there, you may be around somebody. Um, is this could be your energy where you're not speaking out because you're just listening? This is a challenge for you. You're supposed to be teaching. Damn, that's what it is. You, 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 you're still learning. You're, you're about to receive a reward. But you're not trusting yourself. Maybe you're supposed to be doing a speech. And you don't trust yourself. An award speech for what you're going to say when you receive this award, reward, award, reward. You're going to receive good karma. You're not trusting something, you don't trust yourself, or you don't trust some or somebody. Spirit, what is it that divine feminine needs to speak out about? What does divine feminine need to speak out about? Show no optimism. What is it the divine feminine needs to speak out about? Okay, this is at a job. <clears throat> this is somebody's job. And there's some there's some sort of deception going on at your job. And you may have started a new a new beginning with a new creative endeavor. Mm hmm There could have been a third party. The boss could have been been um Fooling with one of the co your co-workers. She could have lied to him about something behind your back. So this could have made you, you haven't quit the job, but you're sitting there. Mad. Instead of, you need to get a throat chakra. This is for somebody at your job. Now you have a creative skill. You may be an artist or a, a painter type of artist, or you may be an artist in the music industry. You could be a um, you could be a photographer. You could be a model. But this creative endeavor is I'm trying to learn how to say that word if I'm saying it correct. Um, this is something that you made. It's a new beginning for you. But there's some sort of deception. Is is this has something to do with your job? Your career. Maybe you're listening and, and, and you're just um, observing. Maybe you haven't moved on. Because you know you deserve a reward. Just like I was watching. Um, I forget what it was because I watch a lot of little shit on YouTube and it was it's it was this um chef and she was from asia and there was a um a restaurant that she was hired to work there and well a cook I called her a cook and the chef there didn't like 
her because she was a woman. And, and the crazy thing is the woman is the one in the kitchen. Okay. The kitchen is for the woman, but this man, this male chef, he was angry at this woman for no reason at all, just because she was a woman. So he had her washing dishes and, you know, washing dishes and where she's supposed to be, you know, in the kitchen cooking, not washing dishes. So she, you know, she knew her food was good. She was known by the highest critics as having some of the best food um, from taste testers and all of that shit. She's won contests and people was fighting over. But this male chef, he didn't know this. Okay. He didn't know it. He didn't give a fuck just because she was a woman. Okay. He was a, a woman hater. And so she asked this, she asked this chef to try to be on good terms with him. Well, let me make you something, make your favorite. You know, she trying to prove her point that she can cook. Now, she really didn't have to do do all of this to him, but it was the kindness of her heart. I can tell she had a divine feminine energy because this man said some shit to her where, man, I would have then either got my ass whipped or whipped his ass by me trying to whip his ass from the shit how and how he was treating her. She was, I mean, he was just trying to tell her like to go fucking clean the toilets and shit, you know? So she still kept her cool, even though the boss over her told the, the chef, but apparently it's one of them situations like this chef is so good at this restaurant to where the, 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 the owner kisses this chef ass because he knows the chef is the one bringing the flavor. Right. So this how this 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 boss knew that this new chef from China was one of the best one wanted chefs in America. And um, what happened? So this critic man came into that restaurant or he was an owner of a fancy restaurant himself or something. And he asked for a specific item for the chef to, to, to cook for him. He was there to taste something. It was a, it was something event that he was there for. And divine, I'm saying, I'm saying this to you because this little clip that I saw yesterday, it may resonate because this is feeling, this is just what I feel like going on. Okay. With this well-deserved reward, somebody didn't get a well-deserved reward and see this woman, she didn't get a well-deserved reward. She made a, um, it was some kind of pie she made. Uh, um, I forget what they, I forgot what they call it. It, it. it was, I never heard of it or tasted one before. It was some sort of beef pie. <clears throat> and this chef, the male chef, he was well known for his beef pie. And it was a little piece of, it was a little pie. It looked it like a piece of cheesecake to me, but it was some crusted pie and it had beef inside of it and whatever else he put in it. But it didn't look, it didn't look like a piece of pie. It looked like a piece of cake, you know? Okay, so <coughs> <coughs> this new chef wanted to, wanted him to taste her version of it. He didn't want to taste her version because he already, it was already said in his, he was the best chef of making that particular pie. So she was like, you know, she offered him, she made him the pie in the kitchen and made it and everything. And he, she made him taste it. He didn't want to taste it. But when he tasted it, his eyes damn near rolled in the back of his head like, God damn, it's good. But he didn't say that. He's, he put it down. Okay. He said basically it tastes like shit, that it wasn't good, but it when you when they flashed the camera, he was like, Oh my God. Like it was just that good. Okay, but he wasn't telling her that because he didn't want to give her uh uh her place in the kitchen. Now if that ain't a male bitch, I don't know what it is. But see what he did, he kept on fucking with her and he ended up firing her. He fired her. I tell you, he fired her and used her pie to give to that critic. He didn't give the critic his pie. 
So that's what some of you is somebody is dealing with. Okay. He didn't he he didn't give his pie. Her pie tasted better than his, but he didn't have the guts to tell her, right? So <coughs> <clears throat> he fires her but she's getting her stuff and you know getting ready to leave and all of that because she told him if if he didn't like her pie that she would quit and even though her pie was the best pie he ever tasted he told her that it tasted like shit and she quit so as she when she quit this, this critic came into the restaurant and they were sitting there. He was he was pushing back everything they was bringing out to him. And this main chef was mad because everything he was presenting to this this um, critic, he was sending it back. It kept coming back. It kept coming back. So he looked at her pie and he took that pie out there to that critic. And that pie, that, that pie was so good to that critic but the man got busted, right? Because he, he got instant karma. Instant karma because he told him that he told him he made that pie. So the chef, the 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 critic chef man who came in there asked him what was the secret ingredient that he put in that pie. And the guy didn't know what the woman put in the pie. So he just started making up shit. And when he made it up, he said, um, Worcestershire sauce. The man says, you're a lie. You didn't make this pie. <coughs> he said, no, <coughs> no, sir. Yes, I did. I did. <coughs> He said, tell me what you put in the pie. He said, you know how I know you didn't make this pie? He said, because you said you put um, um, Worcestershire sauce. Now, I don't know. I don't eat Worcestershire. I don't, I've never had that. Um, I bought some and it stayed up in my cabinet. I never used it. I ended up throwing it away. Okay. But the man in the, the clip, he said, you, you're, you're saying you got Worcestershire sauce in here and Worcestershire sauce is made from anchovies or um, whatever I think he said anchovies and he said and I hate anchovies and if I would have tasted anchovies in here I wouldn't have ate this this is not anchovies you're lying this is not your your pie you did not make this pie okay so the man was standing there by this time the real chef the lady she come coming out and she's she's um listening to this critic talk about her pie. So she came out and she was like, she just started telling him what was in that pie. Okay. And this chef who tried to steal her thing, she ended up getting the job at his he, he, he hired her and the, the male chef got fired and the female chef where he, he was making jokes like, um, don't nobody want no, no, um, Chinese. This is not a Chinese buffet. He was saying things to put a race down and their cuisines and all of that stuff, but her shit tasted better than his and he knew it. And that's what somebody is going through out here. Divine feminine. You have a new, new beginning, new endeavor, and you feel like you're not getting this, this well-deserved reward, and you're not moving on. So just like that lady in that clip, you need to speak out, because see, there was deception. They was in the, this chef was in the kitchen, and only how she found out, she went in there and seen that his pie, he didn't even cut out of it. She, when she looked at the pie of his on the table, it was still a full pie where hers had two slices missing where she had gave him the piece and then he cut another slice for the, the person out there, the critic. 
So he ended up getting karma because he got he got fired when his boss found out that he did that. And the crazy thing, his boss was looking stupid because now he he wanted her at his restaurant. But he let this chef who had been running him because he was the chef. He was like the best chef or whatever, but she outdone him. And he was mad. And that's what somebody is going through. You speak up if somebody is trying to take your reward or, or something you did and you know you created. Don't let nobody sit there and take that away from you. You get your paperwork, your proof or whatever you have that you did this. Okay? Or whatever your recordings, whatever you have. Don't let don't sit in the crowd and, and be a flunky and let somebody else take the credit for something you did. Don't do that. No. Maybe some of you are you're listening. Maybe some of you are supposed to be a teacher or you should be teaching something or you knew something. You listening to people where you're supposed to be teaching. Teach in reverse. Listening is upright. You're supposed to be teaching. Take the lead in reverse. You're supposed to be teaching. You're supposed to be a leader. And you're feeling like this is a challenge to you. These are challenging times, but it's time for you to find balance in your life. Okay, Holy Spirit, tell me what is the deception. Yeah, it's supposed to be it's some event. It's an event going on. And there's some, some deceptions surrounding this event. It's something where somebody is, is supposed to be up on the motherfucking stage and you sitting out in a goddamn audience. At some sort of event. You sitting in this audience trying to play it fucking safe. It's your intention to play it safe. It's your intention to play it safe while somebody else up there receive your reward. I'm getting mad at you. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Don't sit there and, and soak and, and keep yourself in a situation sitting there. Your inner self is talking to you and that devil is talking to you. Okay, you sitting there in that event and um, you watching this motherfucker get with you and you're allowing that. Well, I need this job. Yeah, you need that money and, and whatever you created. Don't let this could be a supervisor or somebody over you taking the credit for something you did. That's just like when Jamie Foxx did the, the, the jingle and the, the man that was over him was taking his, you know, his jingles and giving them to the big boss, making Jane, Jamie do all of the work. And then he taking him to the big boss. Pretty soon, Jamie got to the boss and let the boss hear him in a slick way on his own. So that's what you got to do. You, This person, they're going to get karma, though. Because they're going to ask them some things and they ain't going to be able to tell them. But when, they, when that time comes, that's when you'll be able to show your shit. Because they're going to ask this person all sorts of, of questions. Just like they asked that chef. What he put in that pot, and he couldn't answer it. So whatever it is that you teach in this person, somebody is trying to take your reward, or they don't want you to be seen. They're being deceptive. Not using your intuition and you're not manifestation manifest manifesting. Okay. 
you're feeling stuck. Yeah, this have you feeling stuck and not moving on. You call yourself playing it safe. Not presenting your power. Going through conflict. Again, not moving. Scared. Divine Feminine. You have a stuck energy because of this deception. If you're, and you're not, it's saying, see what I'm saying? It's not presenting power. That's a lion and a tiger. This man has this lion and tiger tamed. Those are two of the most fearful creatures in the jungle. Okay. In the world. Okay, and you got this much power to be standing here holding these lion and his tigers. But at the same time, you have an energy of fear. Not moving, not going nowhere, playing safe, playing it safe, going through conflict, feeling stuck. And this has to do with with a job or something, something, it may not be a job, it's, um, it could be something in your family that somebody else is trying to take credit for what you did and you playing it safe. This is some sort of function or something. Mm -hmm. This is some sort of event. Somebody is saying something you did is magnificent. Glorious, I hear. And you're allowing somebody because you courage in reverse? Come on now. This is a karmic. Okay, tell me more spirit. This is a karmic from your job or something. This is a karmic supervisor or a karmic boss that's taking credit for your shit. You can get this person fired. Like I told my dude, he was, he was working. His brother got him a job at this particular place. So he kept letting his brother call the shots, um, talking between him and the boss. I said, why don't you just, I said, why do you need your brother? You, you, you got the job now. You don't need your brother. Well, you know, he the one who got it for me and this and that. I said, but you still need to speak for yourself. I said, you don't need to have to call your brother to ask him to, to tell the boss, to ask you where to go. Where's the, the um, place to go today? Because they do construction. And I said, why don't you just get the boss number yourself? I said, you're keeping your brother, your middleman, that's making him feel more superior to you. You working at this job every day and you seeing the boss. So why don't you just say, can I get your number so I ain't got to go through my brother and, I, and, you know, and make it a little easier for me? You know, once he did that, then he he stopped having to even drive to work because the boss started come picking him up. They going carpooling to work together. 
where he got closer to the bro to the boss. And that's what the brother didn't want. And I, I said, then start making good, good money. So don't have a third party in there, you know, because they don't want you to get up that ladder no more than them. Okay. So tell me more, Spirit, what is the advice for Divine Feminine when it comes to the situation of this reward? Oh, you have to speak out, baby. You got to speak out. You can't, you can't, you can't, uh-uh. You got to speak out about this. this is some deceptive shit that has something to do with what you created. And you're sitting there playing it safe and you're not using your intuition. You're feeling stuck. Sitting up on some of you may feel like you can't get to a situation. You may have a flat tire. And you're not saying nothing because you're kind and loving. Well, God damn it, Divine Feminine, if you're kind and loving, maybe it's time for you to get mad and upset. Maybe you've been being too kind and loving. It's deception going on. You walking around the office giving people flowers and fruits and shit, and they being deceptive behind your back. Giving out candy. Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? Now you put it in the comments, is that somebody at your at somebody at at their job. Every so often you just you just so friendly. You bring fruits and shit to work. You give away candy. Yep. Yep, you're giving away fruits and candy at work to these same motherfuckers who's trying to take your stuff. Is Divine Feminine supposed to be the, the, the loving woman towards these people? I guess you can still be the loving woman, but just know that there is some deception somewhere at your job or at an event. Somebody is going to try to I feel coldness or something. I know my window is right here, but you no, know, I feel like some some like it's a ghost of spirit sitting right here by me. They coming back. It's crazy I I had kind of tuned that out my gifts and shit and I I can feel when spirits are around me. Um, I feel their, their cold draft when I'm doing the readings and they'll start flying around or you can see little orbs and shit. I call them my fairies, but one is somewhere sitting right here. Oh, I recently lost my dog, sweetie and my cat thunder all within two weeks of each other's death. And maybe this is them sitting here because I feel it by my feet and my dog, she would come and lay right up under my feet and my cat would too. And he would sit right here. And I feel coldness right around my elbow and my feet. So those are my two, those are my two rest in peace puppies and kittens. No. Yeah, but Divine Feminine, um, you can have red hair. There's, um, you're not using your intuition when it comes to, you heard that? That's a confirmation. See, this is the energy of somebody talking behind somebody's back. Okay. See how she whispering in his ear? This is you, Divine Feminine. Or it could be you being deceptive towards somebody. They're being deceptive towards you because you're the loving woman. You're creative. But you're playing safe. I don't like this. I mean, it's a good reading, but 
your 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 um you're you're sitting I can't even think of the word you're sitting there and don't don't just don't allow somebody to take away from take away what you did don't give them that don't do that no what is the advice for divine feminine you're not going through a transformation Kindred relationship. You haven't crossed that bridge to transformation. And for some of you, is you could be in a um with your soulmate, and it could be some deception where someone feels that you don't deserve to be with that person. This person could be a reward to you, an award to you, and someone feels that you shouldn't have this person. You're not using your intuition. That's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. It's different scenarios. Some of this could be going on at work. Some of this could be going on in a relationship. Some of this could be going on with your family. You could have some family members um, being deceptive or talking behind your back and playing, playing, playing it safe. It's some sort of event, though. <clears throat> Spirit. I went longer than I was supposed to. But it's okay. These are decks when when I when I do longer readings as decks with um that I really don't use a lot. I keep them in the drawer, but they they yelling at me like, let us out of this motherfucker. <laughs> we tired of being up in this drawer. Shit. This is where they at, Divine Feminine. See this whole little desk. And I have two drawers full. And I got some cards right there. And they up and them motherfucker cussing me out like, if you don't let us out of this motherfucker, we gon' tell you some real shit. <laughs> So I've been getting them out. I've been working with my old cards, and I've had these cards. These are some of the first cards that I had. Okay. There's the energy of people. There's the energy of stuck energy. You're, you have a lack of consciousness when it comes to standing up or saying whatever it is you need to speak out about. And this is something that you build, you created something you did, and you're letting no. And you and, and this is why you're not getting the achievements that you want because you're not saying nothing. This is making me upset. I'm trying to be cool, but I'm looking at the shit. You created something and you did something and you letting somebody else take the credit for it. I'm gonna have to this is some karmic shit. Spirit. Show me. Show me. Yeah. 
Show me this deception towards the God of Feminine about this award, this well-deserved award in reverse. Why isn't Divine Feminine getting his reward and why is she in fear? Is divine feminine in fear. They're about to get karma. Some cards ain't even supposed to be in there. Something about to backfire on this person. Just like it backfired in that movie I was talking about with the chef. This shit is about to backfire. Because this person is impatient, they're domineering, they're reckless. Reckless. Yeah, that's how that chef was. Controlling. Mm-hmm. No passion. Yeah. All of this, whoever, whoever's trying to steal your word, steal your work, steal your words, steal your creation, whatever you're doing, it backfired on them. And they're in the hot seat. Okay. Could be two people. Could be two brothers or two sisters. This could be your family. This could be somebody at a job. Trying to keep you, you know, stuck in a situation like, like, um, you, you can see what's going on, but you're too scared to come out of the situation. Like a fire. Like they wanted you in here. But if you look at it, the fire is at the top and ain't at the bottom. So you, and you can still squeeze through them motherfuckers. I would be squeezing through them motherfuckers and pushing the, the, the fires outward. If I got to try to get my way out, I'll push them fires out. Outward direction. Okay, then hop, skip, and jump your ass on up out of that shit. Or this is what they going through. They trapped. This shit is backfiring. Some of you may be dealing with the fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay. Okay, yeah, so this shit is backfiring. It can be two people conspiring against you. To take away... The rewards that you're supposed to reap. Tell me more, spirit. Virgo energy. You're coming out of hermit mode. Some of you may be dealing with the Virgo. Or you may be Virgo. Three of Swords. This is hurting you. It's putting you through depression. Some of you, it just could have been a third party at your job that fucked with your person. Well, it's showing that you're dealing with some reckless individuals at your job, Divine Feminine. Um, they had you in a fiery situation. They took your credit for something. Whatever they tried to do, you know, acting recklessly, it's backfiring on them. 
or if it haven't backfired, it's about to. This may have already happened in the past. It may be happening right now, or it may happen in the future. And if it's happening right now, um, maybe, I mean, whatever, if it happened in the past, present, or the future, and if you're still at this job, and it's happened in the past that somebody used your work or gave the boss your work or your presentation or something, then if it's months later and that person has got away with it or they think they got away, now it's time for you to shed some light on it to your boss. Now it's time for you to expose them because you're tired of this person walking around acting all shitty towards you and they're in a the position that they're at because of you. So fuck that. They acting all funky. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Give them, go and, and talk to your boss. And when you go, make sure you got all your proof and everything that you did this and not them. Okay? Nah, I'm sorry I went so long. No more playing and safe. It's time they've been deceptive. It's time for you to speak out about this shit. Stop letting these motherfuckers break your heart, keep you depressed. This is shit how people end up having heart attacks and dying over little petty shit like this. No, you go get that reward that you're supposed to get. Okay, that promotion or whatever that this person is taking your work for. No. All right. I hope I helped you. If I did, put it in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All right. Peace.